Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for some Blisscraft Evolved. Um, I'm actually doing a voiceover for the entire video. Yes, a voiceover. My editing software is still screwed up and I think that this is going to work. I'm praying that this is going to work. This is like my sixth or seventh time trying to get a part out for you guys, but I'm going to have to do it this way. I'm currently frozen right now because it's like a freeze frame shot instead of just standing there doing nothing. Um, so yeah, we have to do it this way because my editing software is still like broken. Not really broken, but I don't know. Well, it's not even... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's talk about this for a second. Um, I'm using it right now. I can't change volumes of things. It freezes it and it won't let it like won't render it then um, like it freezes like the whole video I don't know how to explain it but it like won't let me edit it or anything with it then um, um, or it, it like completely takes the sound out if I try to change volumes it does one of the two so I just decided to beat it to the punchline and take all of the sound out already so that is what I went ahead and did, and um, hopefully this works by doing a voiceover to it. <laughs> I'm very upset with this, but my editing software company, the support sucks for it, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I'm complaining right now because I'm allowed to complain because it's been a week of going back and forth with them, and honestly, if the product usually the products usually amazing I'm not gonna lie about that like I've had no problems like no real problems with it until this um, their support though however is what sucks and if I can't get it figured out or whatever like it I think I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me but for my Sims videos I think that I can edit the sound and it's fine I think it might just be for uh, Minecraft so I don't, I don't know. After almost five years, four and a half, five years of using the two together, it decides not to work. I don't really understand. So here we are now into the actual gameplay where it's not really gameplay. It's literally just like kind of an update video. I'm showing off John's shop. Um, he sells the good armor, armor? No. Um tools and weapons there that like from the smeltery. This is Teak's tea and coffee shop. And oh I oh I'm talking about those um signs right there. Um and how you can like customize them from shift and right clicking them. And then you can put like little objects in them where those where the cursor was a minute ago well the mouse or whatever, I don't know. And then you can like make them bigger and stuff and change the color of the words and make those bigger and all kinds of other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, the NEI being on though made it a little difficult to see uh, um, see what I'm losing my train of thought. I apologize. See, I would normally cut stuff like this out. Um, but yeah, it it, it kind of got in the way of like seeing like what some of the stuff was for the, those signs or whatever. Because like, it would like be like under half of it or whatever. I don't know if that makes sense. But, hey, you know, whatever. I put her sign back to how she originally had it because I accidentally like messed it up a little bit. So I put it back. Also, Cakes doesn't have an apostrophe in it. Shh, don't tell her. But, <clears throat> you know. Um, oh, so I'm talking about how that's supposed to be like a three-tier cake. That's what it's supposed to kind of look like. And then putting like frosting on it, like dripping down with frosting too. It was my idea. So I'm going to take credit for it. <laughs> but um here's her pizza shop 
And then now I'm talking about how I wasn't going to show the inside of people's shops and I was like, oh, but not everybody records and if they do record, they don't always record the same stuff that like what they're doing or updates. So I decided to show off the inside of people's shops too. So we're going to backtrack here for a second. And while we backtrack, let let me just complain a little bit more about my editing software company. I'm really mad at them because they keep trying to say that it's like Fraps fault or something. And then they told me to try converting the file to something else or whatever. So I did. I downloaded Handbrake and tried it. And also tried to compress the files, you know, obviously. But it it didn't it didn't change anything. It still is having the sound issue. So it has everything to do with the editing software. I don't know, maybe it's like fr because of it being Java, but like I've used various different um, uh, levels, upgrades, I don't know. This is Teak's shop, by the way, her lawn decor shop. Um, I've used various different levels of um, or upgrades, what, whatever you want to call it, of the editing software. Oh, hold on. Um, Hacklin's Flowers, where you can have it your way, but don't get crazy. That's a Bon Quee Quee reference from, I believe, it was Saturday Night Live from, uh, I think the King Burger, I believe is what it was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're not familiar with that, it's pretty funny. Um... Anyways, going back to my little bit of a rant here, um, so yeah, uh, it just, it, I've used, let's see, I think I had like version 4 or 5 or something for Coral Video Studio, like back in 2012 or 13, I don't know when exactly I got it, it was around then, and from then, I um, have upgraded, so like then I went to like five, five or six or something, and then I went to seven, and then I skipped eight. No, I think I did get eight. I don't know, but anyways, I have uh, X9 now, ultimate, and I've had actually this exact one since I think the summer of 2016. Here we are at the main shop, by the way, now. Oh yeah, and a little bit ago I was showing off Blockia, which White has yet to finish, and, uh, but actually I asked him if he'll move it, so hopefully he does. Um, and then Sammy's, uh, farm shop, where she's gonna sell seeds, like, for farming, and I think saplings? Like, the, um, <clears throat> I have hiccups. The, uh, like the food type saplings, like for banana trees and like fruit trees and stuff like that, you know, talking about how I need to, this is the mail room, by the way, I'm talking about how I need to add some of the, uh, new members, uh, things, because I hadn't done that yet. Uh, obviously nothing changed on the first floor, and then the basement is the mail room, and this is the second floor. And we have nothing, you can't, you can't buy gems yet. I don't know when or if I'm going to put those in. Um, but anyway, so going back to, uh, my editing software. I, yeah, I've been using their products for since like 2012, 2013. I think it's actually 2012, but you know, don't quote me. Um, with Fraps, I've always used Fraps. I've never used anything else to record. Like, I've tried other things, but, like, what I've actually uploaded, like, used, like, officially, like, is Fraps. I have tried other things. I don't like them. Um, I've never, never had these kind of problems with the editing software with it, and they tried telling me that they don't, like, coincide together, and I was like, since when? Because I've used them together, like, for years. So it made no sense to me. Also, Wyatt, I believe it was, uh, has a Wyvern staff portal? Portal staff? I don't know how that, what that's called, but 
for the wyvern dimension. And um, saplings don't regrow there, I don't think. I'm almost 100% sure. And we don't want the place really destroyed or anything. So if anyone wants anything, they can come back here and buy it. Yes, it's very expensive. It's very expensive because not everybody will be able to get to that dimension. Like they have to have like that staff or something else. I can't remember what the other what the other way is to get there. Um. So yeah, that that's why everything's expensive. I might up the prices though. Not sure yet. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going up to the top floor, the third floor, which is where the community chests are for anyone who wants to get rid of stuff or might need something and maybe it's there. Who knows? This that was the um the quest room which is in the middle of the top floor. Now I'm just going through all the warps to show off the warps. Um those are the only three that we have, and then this is that's how you come up with the list of warps. We're not doing a ton of warps like um, the unmodded servers that we had, only because those are a different type of server. We're keeping this more. I don't I don't know how to explain it. Just more modded. I I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really honestly know how to explain that to you. Um, but yeah. Oh. That thing is creepy. Don't even know how it got in there, because it wasn't in there before. So yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, not really sure what I was talking about here. I would have cut this out, but I purposely left it in, in case if I had something to talk about and I was becoming long-winded so I could finish it up before going into the next, um, next clip bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we are at my house now. <laughs> um, and there is my fiancé. This was also, when I upload this, this was also recorded like a week and a half ago, I think. So like, it's a little on the old side, so like some stuff has actually changed since recording this. Um, we're going down to my basement, and my stairs are still broken like that because I don't have a proper room for my bunnies, and I don't want them going up there and falling and getting hurt because they can fall through the little cracks and get hurt. Um, smeltery, enchanting room. I'm pretty sure that I've shown these off already. I plan to change that because I don't like that. Um, that's my enchanting rooms. My stupid lights weren't turning on. They were triggering me. Um, oh. <laughs> um, so I guess that's my new home. I guess that's the joke I made. I don't really remember. Um, yeah, I think I said something about it being very spacious in there. Not, not, not a hundred percent sure, but you know, it's whatever. That's my brewing room, and then I'm gonna keep going that way for more crafting rooms and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna keep crafting on this side, and then the other side. I'm probably I haven't fully decided yet, but I might. I don't know. I actually don't actually know, but I know that I'm gonna put the bunnies and like animals and pets and stuff over there most likely. I don't know where I'm gonna put storage yet. I really don't. So I built a little farmhouse and it's not really that little, but you know, and Sammy lives in the dimension for those blossom trees. So that's why I have those. I wanted those there. So they're pretty. So this is my first uh, floor for farming stuff. It's like, you know, potatoes, wheat, and carrots. And then downstairs, actually, I've done a lot downstairs since this video uh, was recorded. So yeah, it doesn't even look like that anymore. But I'm talking about how I plan to put everything else down here. I just don't know how I planned to do it at that point in time. But yeah, as of right now, it's all figured out. 
But yeah, hopefully my editing software and stuff stops being a pain in my butt and I can get things figured out for everybody because I would love to have proper videos on my channel again because this is just, this is not a typical Queen Beach video. It's not. There's no music in the background. So I just want to say that I actually did figure out a way to put music in the background, so I'm happy about that. <laughs>